So after I got so rudely interrupted, well, <laughs> well, they came back. After I got so rudely interrupted by phone calls and whatnot, <clears throat> I just want to say this. We're at a disappointing time in Western game development. And the things that we have seen, I do not want to wish it on my worst enemy, as I have stated before. And this is the sad thing about this. The engine needed to be fixed. They needed a brand new engine for, well, well let, me, let me explain, because here's what's going on. That far? Not that car. I'm talking about a video game that came out. The fall of <laughs> Excuse me. Like I was saying before. There is an issue with the video game engine that Bethesda has. And that video game engine was supposed to do amazing things with this new level consoles. Don't let the issues and the concerns and the BS from the particular message boards dissuade you. There is something humongously wrong when a game such as Fallout 4 that is being paraded as not the killer of, K of, of, of Call of Duty but somewhere like in the section of like saying a uh, 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 a companion to Call of Duty you understand and it's getting zero frames on the Xbox One. Something is wrong with Western game development. The fact that we have a game journalism in game journalism or enthusiast enthusiast journalism <coughs> excuse me who cannot come up or even say that there were problems with the Xbox One version. But it took the people looking at the actual technical things, the actual technical look and feel of Fallout 4 to notice this problem. Microsoft spent a lot of money for exclusive content to go into Fallout 4. I was thinking, giving Bethesda a chance, knowing that it took three years and being honest with people and everybody else, your developers go for a lot of BS. <clears throat> They go through a lot of BS. We've seen it with Konami's games. We've seen it with with all the rest of it. We've seen it with EA. We've seen it with a lot more stuff. And the unfortunate thing is this. And I do not want to say this to be to hate on people or whatnot. I do not want to say this to hate on people or whatnot. I have a issue with the way video game development in the West is being done. And it has nothing to do with the actual coding of these things. It is when 
everybody has been giving you the tools and you have people in there who don't know to don't know what to do with these tools i am absolutely positively serious right now it is becoming a running joke that despite of all the issues konami had with metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain none of the games <coughs> none of the games went below 30 frames none of the versions of the game went below 30 frames it is a running joke they get somehow the japanese developers are able to produce these high level games at 60 frames a second, we seen it with Metal Gear Solid 5, we may possibly see it with Near 2, we may possibly see it with Final Fantasy 15, we also may possibly see it with Star Ocean 5, with Star Ocean 5. And then you're going to come up and tell me that the Western developers are better now than they have ever been. This is a running joke. And the fact that our game journalists and especially the game critics are too busy going after the fans instead of explaining to the developers that you got serious issues that you need to take care of is absolutely asinine. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now, folks, it is not about hires. It isn't even about merit. It is about talent and leadership. And there is absolutely none right now outside of sony and outside of microsoft and a few places in the american market right now in western development and outside of cg project red how can this happen in 2015 an american developer zero frames on xbox one inexcusable inexcusable we're slaving in the streets you dumb fucks we're going on the internet we're being lambasted for being goons. We're being told that these girls got to be censored to placate people's sensibilities. Website comes up and tells me get a digital foundry comes up and says the Xbox One has zero frames walking, not action, walking. A bug, a bug. Okay, you did the same thing as Skyrim. You didn't change anything from the game bio system. Oh, everything gonna be fine. You did that. It's a five. How, how many years is that? It is a fifteen-year-old engine. <coughs> fifteen years old. The things that they built game bio for back way back when have changed so much. 
The architecture has changed so much. The hard drives have changed so much. You mean to tell me you're going to put a 15-year-old system? No, game engine. And hope it will produce glories beyond glories. Anybody, any developer who throws shade at Japanese development, even <clears throat> you can throw shade at the company. You can be angry at the company at Konami. That's fair. You can be angry at Square Inks with their Twitch BS concerning Dragon Quest Heroes. Absolutely fair. Go after Japanese development because of their big this and the other thing? You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Koejima has beaten y'all people again. And then you still hating on him. Y'all like full of crap. That's what you are. Y'all people yeah. want to defend. Y'all people want to defend the crap you're saying about Armika and Street Fighter 4. You go defend the, Street Fighter 5. Y'all go defend that censorship bullshit. I'm not happy. But then you come up and you realize there's an issue going down with, with Fallout 4. And none of you are saying crap about it because you're being money headed. You got problems, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying this as a PlayStation fan. Defending the Xbox One. This time I'm defending Microsoft. Why? It's simple. If they're going to do it to Microsoft, how much they're going to go after Sony? If they're doing the Microsoft, and Sony's the king right now. How much they did the Oh, they're going to make one more misstep. They're just waiting for Sony to make a misstep. You understand? And they may have made missteps, but they haven't conquered on it yet. But they're waiting for them to say, ooh, they say something new. Let's go get them. That's what you game journalists are good for, ladies and gentlemen. Wait until they get to do something stupid, then you're going to pounce on them. Like they're doing to Microsoft now. Microsoft deserves half the things that have happened with the cyber culture wars that are still going on right now because they tried to play this whole social bullshit and they got slapped down by true fans of this of this video game industry they got slapped down now they're having contractness you see I'm defending the Xbox One because I would not wish this on my worst enemy. It's 15 years. 15 years. Are you kidding me? You kidding me now? Zero frames in 2015? No Japanese developer worth his soul will ever have a walking animation stop at zero frames. I told you I wouldn't watch this on my worst enemy. I don't want to be done there. I don't want to be called out. I don't want these people to come up and say this, that, and the other thing. But I'm going to keep it real. This is the saddest thing I've seen. It is worse than sad. I have seen it all. This is a running joke. A damn joke. You gonna come in and tell me that you full of it. That you know what you talking about. Folks, I'm gonna make it clear, okay? I have so many projects I need to do for the PlayStation Guys. They will be going on YouTube. Some of them will be going on Vimeo. Even though I have to do a little... <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Getting rid of this damn code. I have to do a lot of things with the this, that, and um, with uploading and whatnot. 
That's fine. 